showing me all these things that are happening, and it's awesome. I'm like, that's amazing, because it's all realizations. And that this is all it's about. It's, it's information and understanding. We're going to get into static attacks now. And uh, here we go. Um, now, what happens is that... Can I use you? Okay. Don't break my jaw. My achy, breaky jaw. <laughs> now, what happens is that in a static attack, a person will come up to you, put a knife somewhere on your body, and demand something, threaten you. Generally speaking, we tell people that there are three things an attacker could possibly want from you. Your valuables, your body, or your life. If you can think of anything else, let me know, we shall add it. Yes? Well, to, to you they might be. If, you, if you're a fucking addictive you smoker... Your possessions. Your possessions. No, I'm just using that because that actually that, that happened to me. Yeah. Possessions. Yeah, Someone throws that cigarette. Give me your fucking cigarette. Yeah. Okay, man. Now that's desperation, brother, you know? Yeah. Fuck me, man. Where do you live? Oh, my God. And when you pull out the pack, do you only just want one? Or well, is no, it? I've had to come to, to a few of them, and it's just like your mates over there, when someone says, they can go get some and I'll keep walking. And they I'll be getting them. around and put a knife straight in my stomach. Yeah, man. Nice stupid, so pretty yeah, okay, so let's change valuables to possessions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Including wives and girlfriends today. What? Including wives and girlfriends today. What? Remember what we were talking about earlier? <laughs> Up to you. <laughs> Give me your money! Would you take my wife instead? <laughs> um. Static attacks, uh, a lot of times you don't see the knife. All of a sudden a person springs it up on you. The most common places a person will put a knife is gonna be around your throat area, chest area, stomach area. Ooh. And the thing is, is that, and also, you know, you might get right here. <laughs> How I've seen it happen, especially in Nico, Philippines, right, bro? That's, that's actually notorious over there. Actually, know what they do, actually, no. Oh, it was at least 15 no, years ago. Yeah, you know how they do it now, the ice pick? Before they rob you, they come from the back, and they stab you first, and then they walk with you. So you already got, you know, you call it loosened up a little bit, and then they go for your money. Oh, there they you go. <laughs> well, in that case, you're fucked. Listen to me first. <laughs> Oh, you have to really be aware of what's going on in your I, Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I get questions like that. What do you do if somebody hits you in the head with a baseball bat? <laughs> I bleed. <laughs> I fall down, maybe I'm unconscious. I thought you were a martial artist. <laughs> oh, yeah. He hit me already, right? <laughs> yeah, I ain't fucking Superman, asshole. <laughs> um, static attack, the blade comes up. The thing is, when people do static attacks, they really take the static into consideration and they just fucking freeze there. Static attacks aren't like this. Give me your money. Sure. Now. They don't just stand here, right? They'll fucking play with you. I've been talking to you. I'll fucking told you 12 times, motherfucker. If you don't give me your fucking cash now, I will cut your pretty little boy up. You understand me, bitch? Where's your fucking wallet? Man? You see, there's... We're alive. We don't just stand here like this and wait for the guy to do a move. They move around. They will play with the blade. They will point. They will talk. And remember... As much as there's three things your opponent can want, your possessions, your body, or your life, there's three things they generally don't want either. They don't want to get caught, they don't want to get hurt, and they don't want, you know, uh, to get caught, get hurt. Brain damage. Attention drawn to yeah, they don't want attention drawn to the situation. Thank you. Right? And this is more like nice. Very cool. But, but now I'm talking more on a criminal level because on an ego level, they don't give a fuck about attention. They'll pull out a knife in the middle of a bar in front of 20 people and stab your dumb ass, right? So you gotta. Did I just call you all dumb? Sorry. Yeah, I was talking wrong. Sorry, Rob. But the point is, 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 is that it's not going to be static and, 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 and the person is just not going to leave it in one position. They're going to be talking and they're going to be alive with it. And so it's important to understand and determine where the knife is. Now, if a person's put the knife somewhere, uh, let's do it this soon so you all can see what we're doing. Can you all see? Cool. If you can't shift over, there's only so much I can do, right? So if the knife comes up, wherever it is on, thank you, wherever it is on your body, let me talk, wherever, <laughs> he's like fucking killing me with it already, wherever the knife is on your body, your hands want to come as close to the knife as possible without, without telegraphing your intention that you're about to defend yourself. So if the knife is up at my throat here, I don't, first of all, don't startle your opponent, hey man, He'll cut you, right? So get your hands up really, really slowly. Whoa, 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 man, hey, it's cool. What do you need, man? What do you want? I'll give you whatever it is that you need, okay? Now, what I've done is I've brought my hands really close to the knife, but since 60% of communication is body language, what I'm really doing here is I'm scared. And it's normal. With a six-inch blade at your neck, uh, there's, you know, if you're not human, you won't be scared, but fuck it, man. I, it's, this is scary, 
right? So my hands will be up here, and I'll be like, whoa, dude, it's cool, man. what do you need? I'll give you whatever it is that you want. And you're starting to talk, right? Because he hasn't stabbed you yet. He's asking for something. Is this dangerous? Very, right? But if he's not engaged in killing you yet, there's some stuff you can do. Now, what you want to do here, the very first part of the drill is going to be very basic. Keep, keep it going. It's going to be very basic. I just want you to clear your body, stabilize the weapon hand. That's it. That's all. Right? But instruct your partner, I am telling you, the person with the knife here, your goal is if you think I'm going to do anything to defend myself, I want you to cut my throat or stab me or just kill me, for real. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Right? And so my hands come up and, uh, fuck, I don't want the knife to fly on people. Let's do it uh, this way, just, just in case. Okay. So cut me this. Uh, oh, actually, actually, because uh, does anybody else want to come up, somebody who doesn't know me? <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you, I swear. Come on, you're the closest guy to me, right? Okay? So the knife is at my throat, okay? Now my hands come up really slowly. What I want you to do is the second you think I'm gonna do something, cut my throat. Okay? But be a bad guy. What do you want to demand something from me? Okay? Yo, dude, no problem. Well, this is my back pocket. Do you wanna reach it? Did you cut me? You wanna try again? Okay. Okay? Hey, man, what do you need? It's in my Did you cut me? Wanna try again? Cut me, fucking do whatever you can, cut my throat. Okay? Now, he knows exactly what I'm going to do, he can't cut me. But there's a reason behind it, there's a science behind this. I'm going to explain it as we go along. Hey man, what's up, what do you need? Your wallet. Okay yeah. bro, it's in my back pocket. Do you want to reach for it or do you want me to get it? Yeah, you get it. Okay bro, I'm going to go really slow, don't fucking hurt me, I'm getting my wallet. Alright, no problem man. Here you go, here's my wallet. Drop it on the ground. It's all yours. Did you cut me? Okay, you want to try again? Now, if you notice, when the knife was here, I didn't do this. Right? When the knife was here, I didn't move it this way. You gotta move the knife away from your body. Clear your body, stabilize the weapon hand. This is gonna work 100% of the time, providing you don't telegraph your intention and do this. Because this is usually what happens is that you're here, and then when it's, your mind goes, oh yeah, you gotta grab the knife, and all of a sudden you're like, your hands start to do this. You'll, you'll, you'll see some of you are gonna do that in, almost intuitively. That's your brain giving away intention to action. You've got to be able to just move from wherever you are. So again, the knife is up here, don't and I'm talking, yo, man, what do you need? Give me a wallet, man. Right, no problem, bro. I, actually, I don't have a wallet on me, but I got a hundred bucks. I don't, I don't have a, I got, no problem, my money's in my sock, bro. All right, I'm, okay, but you're, you're, I'm gonna bend over and pick it up. I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks right now. Please don't cut, okay? Cool? Yeah. All right, bro, no problem. I'm, I'm reaching. Hold on, this must be my other sock. Did you cut me? <laughs> Now also be careful because sometimes what's going to happen is as he's grabbing you, if you find that your hands are here and you're like, hey man, blah, blah, you can't reach the knife. You're not going to be able to grab it. And so if you start doing this, he's going to flare out and kill you. So what you need to do is you got to get your hand here, but you can't do this. Hey man, I don't want any fucking... Hey man, I don't want any fucking... Because he's going to go, why the shift? Right? So you need to do it congruous, congruously with, with behavior where he's doing this, I'm going, hey man, blah, blah. I'm going to go, look man, I don't have much money on me, but I got a couple of bucks in the back. Now I can make my move. Right? Now what I'm actually doing, why this works is there's a series of things happening here. Human brain can't think of two completely different things at the exact same time. It just, you just can't. Thoughts can overlap at a very rapid pace, but not at the exact same time, two completely different <laughs> thoughts. And so while his brain is engaged with my dialogue, the best time to make a move is when you're asking a question or when you're expecting an answer, because the brain is engaged on other things. And in his mind, he doesn't think you're gonna do anything, right? Because he thinks he's got you under control. And this is something we teach women also, if I may, <clears throat> is that, what happens is a lot of times a guy will grab a girl by the hair to control her, right? He's like, listen, you fucking whore, I told you blah, blah, right? And what happens is that most women, when this starts to happen, they grab the wrist and they start to struggle. It's like, because he's pulling. What that, ha what that does to the aggressor is that she's struggling, I'm gonna pull harder to get her under my control. And if she keeps struggling, I might punch her or smack her or <coughs> fucking drag her to the ground and escalate the situation, right? But if all of a sudden, as I grab her, rather than struggle, she goes, ah, 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 please, 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 what do you want? How can I help you, right? So do that, right? So if I go, listen, you fucking whore, okay. I told you 100% you don't fuck. Okay, now what you want to do is keep your hands yeah. really close to my face here, okay. right? Now if she's doing this, and I said, I fucking told you 12 times that the next time, blah, blah, if she wanted to go boom now, underneath my field of vision, there's nothing I can do to stop her from doing that because the hand is quicker than the eye. And in my mind, as an aggressor, I've got her under control. I don't need to pull any harder now because I've already established my superiority over her. I will only escalate the situation if I feel I don't have the person under control. Thank you. <laughs>